In today's tutorial, Jason will help you go from this to this. If you've watched my previous video on converting the game animation sample pack to root motion, this is an updated quicker process. The original still has a full step-by-step -step workflow, which is great, especially if you're just getting started animating in Unreal. And the link will be in the description. Okay, so first I will create a sample project specifically for this. Since it's a semi-destructive process, it can be reversed, but it's a bit more of a pain to revert it back. And I'll demonstrate how to migrate the assets to an existing project, but just keep in mind that enabling root motion will affect the ability to use the animations and runtime for gameplay, so just be careful. We're going to rename it, so go ahead and right-click on it, select Show in Finder, and then we're going to go up one level, right-click on the sample project folder that you just created, and I'm just going to rename it gasp underscore root motion and then go into the project folder and rename the project to the same title. And since we're already in here, just go ahead and double click on the project file. Open up the content drawer and then we're going to navigate to characters, UEFN mannequin, meshes, and then drag the mannequin out into the viewport and reset its transform and F to frame. Then we'll create a new level sequence. Just put it in your usual spot and name it whatever you want. You can close the curves window if it pops open. Let's add the mannequin to the sequencer. So you just click on it and do Control A. Click the plus sign next to animation. And let's just look for a run sequence. It doesn't really matter which one. This is just so we can see the before and after. So here's the default setting with force root lock enabled and root motion disabled. Open up the content drawer, go to animations, and then we're going to add a filter for animation sequence. So just click on the filter button, search for animation sequence. And then we're just going to filter out all the animation sequences in the animation folder. Then click on one of them, do Control A to select them all. Right click on one of them, doesn't matter which one. Go to Asset Actions, Edit Selection in Property Matrix. Click Yes on the pop up window. And then we're going to do the same thing in here select one of the entries and do Control A to select them all. On the right hand side, under Pinned Columns, you'll see Root Motion. Drill down into there. You're going to uncheck the box next to Force Root Lock. Uncheck the box next to Enable Root Motion, and then check the box for Enable Root Motion. And then hit the Save in the upper left-hand corner of the window, and close the window. Go ahead and hit Play on your sequencer, and Root Motion should be enabled. You can migrate all these out to another project. If you just go back to your content drawer, go back to where the animations are, they should all be selected already, and just do the normal migration process for any asset. Go to Asset Actions, Migrate, click OK, and then navigate to the project folder that you want to migrate it to, and make sure to select the content folder inside there. And when you get this pop-up window, make sure to hit Apply to All, and then click on No. You don't want to overwrite anything. 